Now you're ready to write your application. To add a new source file or header file to your project, select File, New, Source File or Header File, and fill out the dialog box. If you have existing code that you want to bring into your project, select your project in the Project Explorer and select File, Import. If your code is just someplace on your computer, select General, File System, and browse to your code. If you want to start with example code, you can select Source for Code Bench and you could grab the example factorial executable or if you have a Stellaris target, there are a number of Stellaris examples you can start from. There's Kinetis and Fujitsu examples. And then there's also just some basic code bench examples. Right now I'm going to show you how to import a file from the file system. So again, we go back to the import wizard, select General, File System, and click Next. And then you're going to select the directory that you want to import from. So I'm going to browse. And inside your CodeBench installation, so go to Program Files, Code Sorcery, Sorcery CodeBench for Army ABI. And inside there, there's a share folder. Inside the share folder, is an examples folder and inside that there are a number of different examples and I'm going to just select dry stone and then you select what you want to import if you want to import the entire directory and any subdirectories that are in there you can just select the directory level or I can select individual files and click finish when you're done. This loads the files into your workspace. Once they're in here, if you want to view or modify a file, double click it, and that opens it up in the CodeBench editor. If we resize our window over here, we also have an outline window, and the outline window can be used to scroll through your code. If there's multiple functions, you can go from one to another quickly just by selecting them from the outline view.